Hey everybody, it's um Coach Rob again. Just want to kind of talk about some some tips that might help you during P90X, some do's and some don'ts. Uh, I've been getting some questions from a lot of viewers, asking me all type of stuff. I'm gonna answer some of those, and I'm gonna just give my advice. Um, the biggest advice I can give you is a lot of people they they're doing P90X and they're getting discouraged because. They go through the program for like a month, and they'll they'll tell me like, man, I'm not, I only lost like three pounds, four pounds, uh, or some some people even gaining weight. There's some people that lose a lot of weight. Like I lost a lot of weight in the first thirty days, but you got to remember, there's different body types. Um, some people who just lose a few pounds, I mean, and who gain, you got to remember what you're doing during the first like three to four weeks is you're building like muscle on top of which underneath which you already have so the reason that you're not um the reason that you're not like losing so much weight is because you're getting muscle muscle weighs more than fat the same amount of space you gotta remember like this much fat could be this much muscle muscle weighs more than fat so if you're gaining muscle that that's a, a prime reason of like why you're not losing so much weight and remember, the more muscle that you get, the muscle needs fat. Muscle uses the fat you already have and burns it. That's how you keep muscle. Muscle needs something to burn. So by you having all this muscle, you're burning fat in your sleep. Even if you're not losing all this weight in the beginning, you'll you'll start to gradually see more results the longer you go along. Um. So yeah, that's the that's something you need to know about like muscle in the first 30 days. Second of all, yeah, just just don't quit. If you're making it 30 days or something, 45 days, and like, you some some people get discouraged really easy. Just don't quit. Push through it. Because the more you push through it, the better results you're gonna see. And then you also gotta remember you're getting in better shape. You're creating a better you, better body, and you're becoming healthier. That's something you gotta remember. Another thing, when you do these workouts. Don't don't limit yourself. Don't tell yourself that you can't. You might be in the middle of a workout and say you're doing push-ups for like 50 seconds. You might make it for only like 30 seconds and then just be wiped out. But what you got to do, even if you just, you got to push as much as you can. Say you're just tired and you can't get your arms up. You can't go down and get back up anymore. And it's like 20 seconds left. Man, try to push through it, man. If you can't make it, get on your knees. After you you crashed out and there's more time getting your knees make it easier for yourself and keep pushing out more things the more you put that's how you get results you got to take yourself beyond the level that you think you can stop at and get to the real level so man anytime you get these workouts push as hard as you can like pull-ups if you got to use a chair use a chair don't be ashamed because like when i'm gonna tell you the truth when i started p90x i could do one pull-up and that was it now i can push out like 15 or 16 and then, I mean, you just got to keep going. The more you go, like, the stronger you're going to get. And I had to use a chair. Like, the whole first month, maybe month and a half, I was using just, like, a chair for all my stuff. And, and then you're gradually just going to get stronger and stronger. But then, I'm not even doing 15 or 16 anymore because what I did is I grabbed a backpack and put some free weights in it. When, it's, when your reps start to go up, make it harder so that your reps go down. Because short reps are what's giving you results. If you're crashing at, like... Number six, seven, and eight, man, that means you're bringing it. And you want to bring it. Don't make sure you can put out high numbers. You want low numbers because low numbers that are making you, you can't go past those low numbers because that's how you're you're building some serious muscle and seeing results. You got to bring it as hard as you can all the time. Um, another thing. Some people talk about getting hung, um, like they're hungry throughout the day. You got to make sure you're eating the right foods. In the morning, get high protein foods, low fat. All the food that you're eating, you, you want it to be low on the fat. You don't, you're not trying to take in too much fat, but you want things that are like power pack with protein because protein is harder to digest it, so it digests slower. And I mean, it's going to pay out throughout the day. Like me, I got really hungry and it's late at night. So instead of going and wasting my time going to get like some food, I just made a protein shake. It will digest over the night, uh, keep me full, and it's good for you. It allows my muscles 
when I get to sleep, I like to get a good seven to eight hours. It's going to help those muscles rebuild, putting that protein in. Man, um, yeah, that's just some advice. Uh, another thing, soon I'm going to be putting out a review of pre-workouts. I'm probably going to compare three. I might do four if I can go buy another one. Uh, right now, I've already, I'm pretty familiar with Jack and 1MR, but today I just ordered Nano Vapor because I've been hearing some good things about Nano Vapor. Only thing, bad thing about Nano Vapor has a lot of calories. So you gotta, you, you're gotta going to have to really pay attention if you do use Nano Vapor. But I'll put a review out once I get it. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Um, what else? Oh, if you want me to try some products, uh, tell me because I'll buy them and I'll try them out. Uh, like one of my viewers, Retina. Oh, I tried the Body Fortress stuff, uh, protein. So I'm, I'm gonna put a review, a comparison for the Hydro Way because I know you asked me to. I think, uh, I forgot what the numbers were, but I know Retina that was your screen name, and I'm your coach, so yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you. Um, also, yeah, I'm giving out Shakeology samples to anybody I coach. So if you want to try Shakeology, send me an email, and I'll send it to you for free. Don't worry. Post it just on me. I'll send it to you. You can try it. If you like it, you buy it. If you don't, you don't have to buy it. But I, I recommend buying it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help your results, especially if you're on a plateau. Like, I've been plateauing last week. I haven't really lost any weight. I mean, that might not be a bad thing. It might just be gaining muscle. So I went on a kind of a cleanse today, ate all Shakeology day, and that and that stuff really helps out. But like, I mean, my plateau's not bad because I'm six feet and I'm like 185 right now. So yeah, I've just been stuck at 185. But that might be the weight I'm gonna be at just because I'm building muscle. Um. Yeah, I think that's about it. If you, uh, but yeah, about that Shakeology, you want me to send you a trial? Make sure I'm your coach. Um, go to my Beachbody page and click on. The coaching link. I mean, go to my Beachbody page and click on the coach thing. It'll make me your coach. If you don't have a Beachbody account, if you already do and you have a coach, just send me an email saying you want me to be your coach, and I'll send you the. Uh, I'll send you how to change to make me your coach. Um, yeah. If anybody's got any questions, send me a message. I'll put a video up for you. That I like to do that versus just answering your question. If it's a long enough question or has some detail, I'll just make a video dedicated to you so you can get your questions answered uh i think that's about it so till next time uh, i'll put another video up soon make sure, uh, make sure you guys bring it every time coach rob out oh.